In the first 20 minutes or so in the game, you punch out a robot and ride its mechanical husk on the side of a building. And just as you reach the end, you do this little kick flip in the air as the star in your chest says, This is the best game of my life! And then things get weird. Comic Jumper, The Adventure of Captain Smiley is an insane shooter wrapped up in an homage to the classic comic book genres and served with massive doses of crazy. You play as the comic book hero without a comic book, unwanted and unloved by even the simplest of children. So, you want to go learn stuff? Yes! It's your task as Captain Smiley to guest star in a number of different struggling comics to solve their problems and earn a little cash along the way. Sounds simple, but there's a lot more to this game than paper cuts and inky fingers. As you traverse through the various funny pages, you'll fight wave after wave of some of the most outlandish minions and ridiculous bosses. You might just wear down your right trigger with a multitude of enemies you'll need to eliminate. I killed someone! <laughs> Remind me not to get on your bad side, Mr. Cheney! <laughs> what will keep you going is the variety of gameplay. One moment you're fighting through quick time events, the next you're riding a unicorn. Even the dev team lends a hand. <laughs> And it's this very self-referential and often meta take on the game that makes this a title that you need to download. From Captain Smiley leaping off the page to the Time Cop references, the writers and twisted minds behind this downloadable title need to be congratulated. I'm used to grabbing polls. Who writes this stuff? Make no mistake, this game is unforgiving. But it's the humor, creativity, and zaniness that brings the characters to life and keeps the often endless waves of enemies entertaining. That's why we're giving Comic Jumper a 4 out of 5. We done yet? Yeah, we're done. He was a one-man judge, jury, and executioner on the bloody vengeance trail. Pistoliers, get ready for a tale of revenge and redemption as you control an undead puppet in an old-fashioned western shootout. The gunstringer watched news of his return spread on panic horseback. The Connect enabled the gunstringer is oozing with charm and filled with controller free fun. It's also the best rootin' tootin' reason so far to flail your limbs in front of Microsoft's new tech. The core gameplay is lightning fast, crazy fun, and super accessible. But it's the personality pack presentation that steals this show by a country mile. All the action unfolds during an onstage puppet show. Paper mache, cardboard, popsicle sticks, and Lincoln logs make up the eye-popping sets and colorful characters. Also selling the stars on strings theme is an actual audience watching the performance. As you play, they'll cheer when bad guys are bested and boo when cowboy justice isn't properly served. The play mechanics feel simplified, unlike many of Kinect's titles. Players use one hand to paint and shoot targets, and the other to trigger the hero's jumps and left and right actions. At times, the game takes the shape of a simple side-scrolling platformer, then switches to a section that will have you sacrificing character movement in favor of dual wielding. The Gunstringer boasts the ability to play cowboy from the couch, but you'd be better off adopting a standing position because the controller-free gameplay seems less responsive from the saddle. The four-hour campaign itself comes up a little short on time and may have you thinking that your 10-gallon hat feels more like a 5-gallon hat. But it's the game's addictive arcade-flavored gameplay and infectious personality that makes Twisted Pixel's puppet-starring cowboy shooter their best game yet and the Kinect's must-buy entry. The Gunstringer gets four bullseyes. Six shots and lead would now make their mark. Out of five.